whether I'd even shoot this video or not because, um, and this video probably may never even be published, but I figured what the hell, I'll shoot it anyway. Uh, what, I, what I'm doing here is I'm building a stealth uh, surveillance security system. And basically this is a digital clock and it's going to have a camera installed in it that can observe whoever's in the room and it's for as far as security system so that's why I'm debating whether this should be even published or not because it gives people ideas of what's available but this is a project that I'm working on because uh, it's for loss prevention and uh, basically there's a, a wall clock a wall clock identical to this already in the location where the camera is going to go and it's just going to be swapped out with this wall clock and basically what we have here is we have a little CCD camera that's going to go inside, it's going to be mounted right in here and, and look through this hole in the circuit board which is perfect because that hole was already there uh, basically all I had to do is there's a glass plate that goes in front of this and we just have to, to uh, clear away some of the paint that's on there on the glass plate so the camera can see through and you shouldn't be able to see it and then we have a little uh, 900 megahertz uh, transmitter here and this is going to be attached inside the, inside the clock unit. The camera is going to be attached here. It's going to be wired up to the power supply that powers the camera. And uh, hopefully when it goes into operation, there's a wireless receiver that would plug into a, a digital recorder. And um, anyway, for what this is for, is, again, it's for loss prevention. So um, that's what we're doing. We're going to put a camera inside this thing and see if it works. So I've already, I'm just tapping into the power line here. I had to change the a power adapter because we need one with a little bit more power. So basically, um, I'm just tapping into the power line. We're going to use our heat gun here and some heat shrink tubing. And this is just to uh, prevent any shorts. And then we'll do the same for the other power wire here. Not going to be wired for sound, so it doesn't fall into the wiretap act what some people or may or may not be um, aware of is it is legal to video record on private property so you can video record at your home or if you have a business you can video record at your business you don't even have to uh, warn people that there are cameras in place there is no requirement under the law to do that but you cannot audio record them at least that's how the laws in Canada and the United States work. Uh, if you audio record someone without their permission, well, you need a court order for that. That's called a wiretap, so you're not allowed to audio record. You can't bug anything for, for sound, but you are allowed to um, record video for any reason that you want, and loss prevention is one of them. Now again, if you've seen this video on YouTube, it's because this unit has already done its job and it has come out of, it has come out of its uh, intended location. It's not going to be staying in that location forever. I'm specifically putting a CCD camera and this camera does not have night vision because where it's going to be located there is no need to record in the dark because any activities that are going to be needed to be recorded will be happening during daytime hours. So I'm not going to put it I'm not going to put in a a camera that's got infrared capabilities so that it can't be abused for another for, that's the second reason so that it can't be abused It'll only work where there's lots of light. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to hook up the transmitter and we'll test the camera. We'll connect our, our power leads up.
and then the yellow lead is the video line. Just gonna grab another piece of heat shrink here. So there's the uh, there's the picture from the camera displayed on my monitor. This is the wireless transmitter, and it's just sending the signal. I don't have an antenna on the receiver, but it's just sending the signal out, and that's going to be mounted inside. That's going to be mounted inside the clock here momentarily. So we're going to mount it just by taking some hot glue and just putting some hot glue on the back of the uh, module here. We don't have to put much on. There we go. A little bit of hot glue on there. Stick this thing down on the inside of this cabinet. Wouldn't you know, my, my hot glue gun decided to short out sparks everywhere, blew the fuse for my uh, my Variac and everything went dead there. But I had enough heat in there that I could just attach the camera where I want the camera to be and I got the uh, module tied down. So now it's just a matter of tucking the wires out of the way and putting the, cap, putting the clock face back on. like that and fasting down the screws and we can put this thing back together and we have a clock that's got a camera hidden in it it's got to line up the uh, it's got to line up the holes here hopefully my centering is good enough on the camera module. There they are. There's the holes. It's almost like this thing was made to have a camera installed in it, you know what I mean? see how straight that picture is. So there's the clock. As you can see the camera works. Let's get the face on it and uh, we'll see how the final project looks once I get the glass back on it. So with the uh, face plate on, this is what the camera looks like here now. I'm just, I just have to line up my lens here and mask off behind the lens so that you don't see it. Again you'll see it here in the light but where it's going to be it's going to be in a darker location so I don't think you'll even notice the camera in behind there unless you get right up to it. And where it's going to be put, it's going to be put up on a wall. So, so basically, I made a mask on the outside to follow the outline of the lens, and I'm just blacking over with my sharpie the outline of the lens on the inside of the glass. That will try and hide any of the, uh, with the exception of where the actual then sits itself. Let's get the uh, cabinet put back together and polish this thing up and see how it looks. Well there's the finished product and if we pan the camera up here you'll see that the camera can see everything. That installed up on the on the wall. It's completely unobtrusive and unless you really get up close to it you don't notice that there's a camera in there.